All right, by the end of this video, you would have learned how to set up your Unity for AR development and deployed an application on your Android device. So let's get started. Hey guys, this is Ashay from Immersive Insiders and on this channel, we help you become professional XR developers and designers. In today's video, we are going to learn about Unity's AR Foundation framework and see how we can use it to create AR applications for our Android devices. Now this video will be broken down into three sections. In the first section, we'll learn how to create the project and set it up. In the second section, we'll see how to set up the scene for AR. And in the third section, we'll see how to set up our Android device so that we can build the application into it. So let's begin all right so here i have my unity hub open and if you click on the install tab you need to make sure that you have the latest unity editor version installed in my case it is 2021.3.4 f1 lds version now along with this editor we'll have to add few modules and those are going to be the android build support Android SDK and DK tools and open JDK. Now, once you have made sure that all these modules are installed along with the editor, you can go to projects and click on new project and we'll give it a name called as AR foundation and we'll select 3D Co itself and click on create project. Now Unity is going to take some time to open this project. So I'll see you once it opens. Okay, so we have the Unity project open and here we have to do two things. The first one is to install the packages that we'll be requiring. And the second one is to set up the project itself. Now let us start by installing the packages. To do that, you can click on Windows and click on Package Manager. This will open up a window and from the drop down, you need to select Unity Registry. Once you have selected that, you can search for the AR Foundation package, click on it and then click on install and we'll wait till the package has been installed successfully. All right. Once the AR Foundation package is installed, we can go ahead and install the next package, which is AR Core XR plugin. Select it and click on install once again. All right. Now that we have both the packages installed, you can go ahead and close the package manager window. Next, we'll click on file, click on build settings. Now here, the first thing that we need to do is to switch the platform from Windows to Android. So you can click on Android and then click on switch platform. Now, once that's done, we can click on player settings and uh, we can select the company name and change it from default company to something else. Uh, we have some scripts loading, so we'll wait till that's done. Okay, it seems to be working fine now. Now we'll change the company's name from default to Emin, which is Immersive Insiders. You can give any name of your choice. Then from here, we'll uncheck the auto graphics API. Let's select Vulkan and get, let's get rid of it because uh, it does not support AR Core. Next, we'll uncheck multi-thread rendering and we'll scroll all the way down and we need to set the minimum API level to 24. And we have to change the scripting backend from mono to IL to CPP and make sure that you have checked ARM64. All right, I think that's it. So with that, we have completed uh, setting up the project. You can close the project settings window and build settings window. Next, we'll set up the scene for AR. All right, so setting up the scene for AR is really simple. First, we'll select the main camera and get rid of that. Next, you can right click on hierarchy, select XR and add AR session origin. Now, if you select this game object, you can see that it has a component called AR session origin. Now what this component does is, for example, when you scan your floor, you scan a horizontal surface, there's something called as feature points. So this component takes those feature points and uh, it translates it to its actual scale and position on your Unity scene. Uh, that is done by using the AR camera. Now if you open this game object, you can see that it has an AR camera, which has a camera component, which accesses the camera of your device. Then we have the audio listener, which is more like a microphone. So it listens to any uh, audio that's there. Then we have the AR pose driver. So this component kind of uh, takes care of the local position and orientation of your game object that's there in the scene. And then we have the AR camera manager. So this is used to manage the features of your camera. For example, you can have the autofocus on or off. If you want to have light estimation, you can determine what kind of light estimation you want. And similarly, the facing direction, whether you want it to be none world or the user, the front cam or the back cam. And then finally, it has another component, which is AR camera background. So if you want the camera uh, feed to be rendered on some other scene or some other place, so with some different background, so you can enable this function and add that one as well. Next, you can right click on the scene once again and select XR and add AR session. So without this, uh, without this component, AR will not work on your device. Uh, here you can see that it has two more components. One is AR session and another one is AR input manager. 
Now the AR session uh, component takes care of the entire life cycle of your application. So it enables and disables the AR on your device. And then we have the AR input manager. So this keeps a track of your uh, world environment. So for example, if you have an image tracking and once you have tracked the image, you want to place some object on top of that. Once it's placed uh, using the input manager, it will be able to keep track of that in your world space. So that is what the AR input manager does. Now that we have these two game objects in our scene, next we'll add a cube. So we can right click, go to 3D objects and select cube. Let us bring it forward little like this and change its scale to 0.3 in all the direction. And we'll give it some nice rotation as well. All right, now you can save the scene. And with that, we have completed uh, setting up our scene for AR. Next, we'll see how to set up our Android device so that we can build this into it. All right, on your Android device, you can open up setting, scroll all the way down till you find about phone. And in here, you'll have to click on the build number seven to 10 times to enable the developer mode. Once it's enabled, you can go back, you can click on system. And in here, you can see that you have a developer options available. Select it and scroll down till you find the USB debugging mode. You can enable it and click on OK. And that's it. Now that we have enabled USB debugging on our Android device, you can connect it to your laptop or a PC and then click on File, Build Settings, Player Settings. And in here, you'll have to select the XR plugin management. Make sure you're on the Android tab and then click on AR Core. Then you can close this window and add the open scene, which will add the open scene that we have, that is sample scene. And then from the run device uh, drop down, you can select the device that you are uh, connected to. If your device is not seen, you can click on refresh and then you should be able to see your device. So select your device and then click on build and run. And before we build it, we'll right click, create a new folder. We'll call it as builds so that we can store all the application in here. Open it and I'm going to call this as test and then click on save. Now while this builds, I highly appreciate it if you can leave a like and subscribe to this channel, which will let us know to produce more videos for you. Now I'll see you after it's done building. By the way, we have a free ebook in the description, which will show you the biggest mistakes you can avoid as an aspiring XR developer. This will give you a huge advantage over others. So do check it out. Once the application has been successfully built, it's going to open up automatically on your device. And for the first time, it's going to ask you for the permission to use your camera. So let us allow the permission. And then here you can see that I have my cube floating around. And as I move, I can see the different sides of it as well. So with that, we have successfully set up our project and we have tested it out as well. This is just the beginning. In the next one, we'll learn about image tracking, wherein we'll track an image and once the image has been found, we'll place an augmented object on top of it. So I'll see you in the next one.